The medical sciences are dynamic, always in a state of transition. The diseases, the understanding of the underlying causes of diseases, methods of diagnosis, the treatment approaches, that is the therapy, and even the medicines are in a dynamic state. For example, newer and newer diseases are being reported. The understanding of the cause, its progression, is improving. Even the disease-causing organism, the pathogens themselves, are in a state of transition, adapting to the new drugs, becoming resistant, and the drug discovery methods are advancing. To put it briefly, the cosmos of medicine is in an inflationary state, churning out more and more galaxies of information and knowledge. Just ask any graduate student of medicine or pharmacy. They could give you a lecture on the plethora of subjects and the enormity of knowledge they should know by heart to be a fairly good clinician or a pharmacist. I have here with me the latest edition, the 12th edition of the Pharmacologist's Bible. Goodman and Gilman's The Pharmacological Basis of Therapeutics. Just have a look at the index page. There are more than 2,500 drugs. That's not all. There are even more drugs in the market out there, and they don't find a mention in this book. We have a huge number of drugs. Even the teaching faculty find it hard to march with the knowledge that moves in leaps and bounds. Here I have a list with me. Any idea how many painkiller drugs are there in the market? More than 70. What about antibacterial antibiotics? There are 300 of them. And drugs to treat fungal infections? More than 45. Antiviral drugs? Today we have around 72 antiviral drugs, but we don't have a cure for the common cold. Anti-cancer drugs? We have more than 120 out there, to treat various types of cancers. And there are an awful lot of drugs which we can't even pronounce properly. Here are some for the taste buds. Bevocizumab, Dariutumumab, Dinutuximab, Elutuzumab, Ovinutuzumab, Trastuzumab, Gemtuzumab, Ibritumumab, Tiyun Setan, Tositumumab, Epilimumab, sorry, I mean Epilimumab, Nesitumumab, Ramusirumab. Whoa, see what I mean? Doesn't the Wingardium Leviosa and other spells of Harry Potter books sound much simpler? Well, it was not always like this. Things were much, much different just a decade ago. And if you look at the medical sciences in the 50s, by today's standard, they look very primitive. I would like to read a quote from the book Doctors by Eric Segar, a work of fiction that shows us pieces from the lives of the Harvard Medical School class of 1962. On the first day in the school, the dean's address to the class ends with these words. I urge you to engrave this on the template of your memories. There are thousands of diseases in this world, but medical sciences only has an empirical cure for 26. The rest is guesswork. The picture that Mr. Siegel portrays is not an exaggerated one. I have here with me the once upon a time prevailing popular book, Pharmacology and Pharmacotherapeutics by David, Ishwaraya, and Guruswami, a book whose publication ceased since the 80s. Look at the number of drugs that are discussed in this book a mere one-fifth of what's being studied today. It's a mere pleasure reading this book to know what little was known those days. Do you know? There was no nemetronidazole and related drugs in this. No calcium channel blockers. No ciprofloxacin and related drugs. No albendazole. No benzodiazepines. The only diuretics were caffeine and toxic mercurials. The beta blocker propranolol had just come into the market. It would have been a dreadful way to live in those times where there were little medicines available. But then, maybe some three decades from now, the generation then would be talking about medical sciences of our era in much the same way that I'm talking about how it had been three decades ago. Well, the point is, science of medicine is dynamic, always in a state of transition. So this video lecture series titled Narratives in Pharmacology and Medicine is our attempt to capture the stories of changing medicine told by those who have been a part of this and witnessed it. I, Pavan Nayak, 
a research graduate in the Department of Pharmacology, Manipal University, welcome you all to the video lecture series. We bring to you lectures, panel discussions, and interviews of academicians, clinicians, physicians, surgeons, pathologists, and experts from all the stream of medicine on the theme Evolving Medical Sciences. Do watch the episodes, kindly subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts, comments, and suggestions. You may also write to us by email, which is provided in the description below.